If anyone in this room had told me 16 years ago that I would be here today, I would say absolutely not. Because I had just graduated from Georgia State with a degree in psychology and I'd fail statistics. <laughs> and so my dreams of becoming a therapist were like slowly going down the drain. And after a couple of months of like sporadically selling clothes on eBay, uh, my mother lovingly said, you need to get a real job. And so I got a real job. I went to go work at a construction firm as a receptionist. Now, I had a degree in psychology. Yes, I was overqualified for this job, but I needed a job. And so I went there and I was answering the phones, filing lien waivers and asbestos notifications. And before you know it, I got sucked, sucked right in. And here I am today. But what you don't know is that that job led me to becoming the youngest black woman in the state of California to acquire a general engineering license. And it also led me to becoming the first black business owner featured on Construction Business Owner Magazine. And also, to this day, I still hold the title. Engineering News Record History, I am the only person in the history of that magazine to be Receive, uh, to receive the top 25 newsmaker and top 20 under 40 award in the same year. No man or woman has done it since. <laughs> so, I share all these things, not just to brag about myself, but to tell you what happens when you give people an opportunity. No experience, I didn't know the difference between ohms and watts when I got to that office, but I do now. So that is the importance of why we share diversity, equity, and inclusion is such an important component of the construction industry today. 